Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be opening Snowman. Here I am. This is me. So this is our first Briar Traditional to be open on this channel, and this is really cool. I really, really, really love this, even though it sounds like, yeah, maybe, yeah. So I got him, and so he, so let's get to review. He is a flea bitten gray with a cut mane, and t actually the tail's really long. The tail's really long, but it's cut on the end, it's got, it's, he's got a short mane, long tail, his tail is very wavy, like it's been kept up and brushed every single day, which I'm sure it was for such a for such a legend of show jumping. His front feet are dark and oh I still got His front feet are dark and his back feet are light. His muzzle is dark and he has black eyes. Ears are darker on the inside, but he's mostly white with just a few spots around the spots on his body. I don't know if you can see that. But they are flare. Somewhere. Maybe this wasn't the best light. <laughs> oh well. About this model, it's very pristine and clean. Um, he does have some little I forgot what they call them, but yeah. He's got ah, chestnuts or walnuts something like that. Yeah, that's about it. So I think I'll read Sivox real quick. Okay, so this is Snowman, brought back by Collector Demand. He, yeah, I remember there was another model, of, mo, another Briar model, and yeah, I, I like this one better, Briar Mold. A big gray horse with an even bigger heart, Snowman rose from obscurity to become one of show jumping's most beloved heroes. His rags to riches story began in 1956 when Dear Harry Dallaire, a Long Island riding instructor, went shopping for potential school horses in Pennsylvania. Arriving too late for the auction, he spotted rejects being loaded onto a van bound for the slaughterhouse. The bony beat up and filthy one plow horse showed enough spark to catch his eye. Dallaire made an offer, and for $80, the seven-year-old gelding was his. Quite enough to be a lesson horse, the new rescue horse, the new rescue, was a hit with children who dubbed him Snowman. But when sold to a local doctor, he kept jumping fences and returning him to Dallaire. Recognizing his talent, Dallaire began training him for the show ring. Soon, Showman was be beating and beating the country's best jumpers everywhere he went. He'd clear anything from, seven, from a seven-point seven foot two obstacle to another horse and do it with care yet this child friendly 16 hand giant could still win a lead line class on the same day sleeping an open jumper championship showman was champion at the 1958 national horse show winning the stake there the following year in 1958 and 1959 he named both the american horse shows association horse of the year and the professional horsemen's association Association champion. The People's Horse he made appearances abroad, became a television celebrity, and was the subject of several books. Even in retirement, Showman remained a popular attraction at Dallaire's farm, where he died in 1977. Fifteen years later, he was inducted into Show Jumping's Hall of Fame. Whew, that was a lot of reading. Well, I guess that's it for today. Be sure to like. 
and subscribe and comment and share and all that fun good stuff and turn on the notification bell if you want to see all my videos which they've been so lately i'm sorry about that so yeah i think the only thing i forgot to mention was the stripes on his feet which i think you can see so yeah that's that's basically it for today so i'll see y'all next time i uh, hope you enjoy it see you later Yeah. <laughs>